previously on Fire Emblem Awakening. You know I had to do it. No reaction. Bass eye long zen. Chrome. This is some torch I'm passing you. HM, so BIT. UH, UHN. Chrome. Lisa. And all my people. Know that I loved you. Splat. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Fire Emblem Awakening. How are you doing today, Raisins? Doing well this morning. Seriously, I woke up 12 minutes ago. So let's go. No, I'm kidding. That's all the time you need. That's all the time you need. Pretty much. It's just the time you need between like coffee and this, right? pretty much uh i'm actually saving the coffee till later i might need to like sleep some more before a uh, practice race hoarding so hoarding coffee what? it makes sense hoarding, hoarding coffee probably like hoarding potential sleep maybe mm. now that's big brain you're you're rescheduling your sleep and uh like a whole three use sleep hours mm -hmm. needle and the convoy still <laughs> in the convoy you know what i realized something that i like about this game that i actually like a lot is i can play it between let's play episode recordings and have fun with it still uh for example what i did before uh i called you a while ago is i trained style a little bit training from i think like basically base level to level seven because this game just lets you do that and i feel justified doing it because how else am i gonna get you know all the pairings if i don't have good units so train style a little bit train naoi a little bit i still haven't decided on pairings for um, either these people, uh, Naoi, or uh, I haven't really decided on Pan either. I'm just going to keep building Donald support until I make a def def definitive decision. Um, Tharja Alphas, I haven't decided on her. Uh, I haven't decided on like really anybody here uh, that hasn't been properly paired. But I did get a bunch of supports that we should probably get anyway. Because oh, look yeah, at them, okay. they're eager to talk. They're eager to talk. Uh, Krom is still just yeah. Sully, so we'll skip him. Uh, Ferdic is actually C with Sephirion. <laughs> How did Ferdic and Virion get together? Right. Well, uh, I guess I didn't tell you that either. I did also train Virion. <laughs> he's also level 8 now. He got a bunch of really good oh, levels, wow. actually. I think his base speed is 5, and he's got 9 now. So he's been working out. Oh, wow. It's pretty good. And you did train Stall too, so... Yeah. I think that was two different sessions, actually. I, just, I think I did, um, Virion yesterday, and then now we installed today, actually. And then... Okay. Confirms my suspicions. <laughs> We, got... we were starting a recording late, I'm laying back, it's probably just stalling. Yeah. So. <laughs> we got Vague, Sully, and A rank, so they'll be doing a lot more work too. Uh, we got, I think Sully's probably just Krom. Uh, we got uh -oh. Donald and Pan at C. Not the definitive pairing, but I'm kind of liking it. Uh, Longku and Muriel are at A, because they've been working together a lot. There's a danger support. Yeah. And here. Is the one I've been saving for last. They're ready for S support already. So that S means support. after this, we are ready for O Wayne Dark to come out of the darkness. Well, oh, once Wayne we get paralogs. I actually kind of want to read through this real quick because I don't. I never watch S supports. <laughs> you never do. No. Oh, come on. Is it? Hmm. Was it only S supports with the avatar where you have the whole confession thing? Uh oh yeah the, the funny scene. <laughs> the funny scene. Yes. I mean, we might as well. We mm -hmm. might as well. I mean, yeah. we're playing Awakening. Oh, the, the box. There's a box with a surprise in here. Ah, yes. Snakes, obviously. Well, What's in the box? A copy of Fire Emblem Revelations? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now, there's a, there's a reason to file a divorce. What? <laughs> ah! It's a ring. Yeah. It's a ring? I don't know why. Blushes just look so off on me on Fire Emblem characters. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, this one's kind of weird. It, it looks like makeup, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of does. Kind of does. 
I guess it's because oh, they're like no. final characters just so 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 pale most of the time. <laughs> huh? It doesn't really fit the art style. Mm -hmm. What do I know about art though? That's true. I don't know I anything about art. It might yeah. just be might just be the best art ever. Yeah, like my stick figures look bad. Ah, there you have it. Oh my gosh, this ring is huge. Oh, oh. oh we're gonna have <laughs> such a great um, life together. <laughs> Okay. I mean, on the plus side, we no longer are able to make jokes about her being with Krom because now she's married. Oh, that's true. There we have it. First S support. First S support. Away Dark is going to be a fact soon. Away oh, Dark. I think it shows up. I think they start opening up after chapter 11, so we still have a couple chapters to go before that. Um, I think that's all I need to do in advance. Uh, I did some of the encounters on the world map to do this. Um, there's actually two ways I, I grind off screen. One of them is these world encounters. They're kind of they're slightly harder than what I can do otherwise. Uh, but the rewards are that for them are like a bullion that sells for a thousand, and they drop like one weapon, which can be something like a steel sword or steel axe. But I've also got a brave sword once, which I felt bad taking because it seems like a weapon you should never have at this point in the game. So I sold it also to get gold to get I think like a speed wing or something. Yeah. Oh, was that from one of the like from one of the thieves? Thief encounters? Yeah, I think so. Because thieves use your job good stuff. Oh, that's probably why then. I do have a Draco shield from that general from last chapter. I should probably give to someone. Uh, we could make the vehicle a bit more Vaker. Um, kind of like that idea. Or make Sumia even more bulky. I also have a Master Seal. I kind of want to use on Sumia, honestly, and just promote her. Because I've been saving the seals whenever I get them. But I feel like Sumia would be a pretty good target for Master Seal. Do you have like any better ideas than that? Yeah, I mean, we might as well check what she second seals into. Probably not anything good. Yeah, it, it's there's no way it's better than Pegasus Knight, but we might as well see. Uh, yeah, Knights or Cleric. Uh, okay, I like your Master Seal idea. Let's do that. Yeah, <laughs> four or five move or just, you know, get plus one and uh, Master Seal her. I kind of like that idea too. Let's go. Master Seal, Sumia. So we can go Falcon Knight and get uh, E rank Stabs with five magic. And not a whole lot else. We can get Dark Flyer and get E rank Tomes instead. Uh, but very, very late into the game, we'll probably get Gale Force, I guess. Seems kind of good. I, I just like the Dark Flyer class, honestly. I just want to do it just because this is Awakening. You can't play Awakening without Dark Flyers. That's. Exactly. Seems Come like on. it's against the rules. I mean, Shock Stick, like plus three magic. Hello? Like That's true. She do have the Shock Stick. Yeah, all right. Dark Flyer it is. Give it a go. I'm usually not as huge a fan of Dark Fire on Sumia and Cordelia in particular. But I think that shows because the first two times I tried it, I was playing like very linearly and very quickly uh -huh. and trying to beat chapters at low levels. And so the stab boost from the, losing all the strength and the skill and the speed and the defense and whatnot for Dark Fire actually kind of hurt. But in this case, th this is such an early promotion and with such good stats and with such great Frederick support. Come on. I mean, do you really lose a bunch of strength? To Falcon Knight. I thought it wasn't much of a difference, but maybe I Compared did see Falcon. it. I think it's... I want to say it's close to three points in each of those stats. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> go back. Fuck, go back. <laughs> <laughs> go back. Let's get a new Iron okay. Lance. This one is almost broken. She probably won't need anything better than that. And I could give her a tome. I'm kind of short on tomes. Actually, I kind of want to buy a couple more, but I don't have a whole lot of golds. But I have some. Let me find some tomes to get real quick. Buy like a couple of thunders. What can I fix you with? Just for my convoy. Here we go. I don't know how good they are, but they're probably more reliable than a shock stick at any rate, so let's try it. Uh... Well, actually, Frederick gives her a bunch of attacks. So maybe the javelin is better, but I want tomes anyway, because this uh, is like kind of half out and noodle. And there's one fire left, and there's Muriel. Actually, we have plenty of fire thunders, but we'll probably need them later, so it's fine. All yeah, right, they're just on weird units. Yeah. What are these shots? Okay, let's just, let's, let's play this oh, chapter. Oh, are we out of money? Yeah. We're out of money. Let's just play the chapter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chapter. Oh, this chapter is a doozy. Renewal. Renewal. This is the best soundtrack in the game. It actually does. It has a very good soundtrack. Come on. What's this one? This is the one Crumb. that, back in its infancy, right. the Reddit game music subreddit like Go. made a rule <laughs> yeah, saying he, you're not allowed to post this. <laughs> he said it last time too. <laughs> it's a very funny story. Oh shit, bandits in my Fire Emblem. Bandits? 
Yeah, it's like chapter 10, man. Come on. <laughs> Plagian bandits. I've had enough. I do like the music just keeps playing throughout the whole thing. Alright. This is Did not even the banger music yet. That's coming up soon. Ooh, a worm slayer. I would like that one. A worm slayer. There's a bunch of good loot on this map, honestly. Yeah, probably all in the thieves. Ooh, know. master steel. Uh Seraph Robe. Steel Lance. Do the thieves like, actually try to escape or do they just attack you? I I don't I don't know. I'm too good at fire emblem. I'd never let them escape. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what direction they're running. Wait, this guy's skills? What do you got? Attentivity. Alright, easy. No problem. No problem. No problem. Yeah, well, come but on. I do remember the wyverns kind of get you in trouble a little bit in this map. They can move in such a way that you can't defeat them, but they will defeat you next turn. And then there's reinforcements in the forts as well, which I'll need your help for. Uh, we do get a we'll lot of units for this one, though. Let's see. I don't think style and now we are quite ready for battle yet. We'll probably leave Amphirion too. Muriel, bring along with Longku, and then Pen, and then probably a little Libra, and I think that's all my unit slots basically filled. Seems good to me. Libra's pretty self-sufficient. He probably doesn't need a, a pair of hope of some kind. Um, looks good to me. Don't need this hand axe on Pen. Uh, the Vake will probably use that later. The Vake, got the Hammer, I guess that'll be useful probably. Uh, Sully would like a javelin of some sorts. She could use steel swords now. For what I was worth. Or to take Gregor's for now. I can even use the killing edge. We need to put like a low use killing edge on Krom. I guess we need a crit somewhere. There we go. I got the chapter page open, so. Ah, cool. Should be able to see him. I was also looking up the whole class thing earlier to get some facts to back up my whole Falcon Knight. <laughs> facts. <laughs> Inverse everything. <laughs> Destroying mecha with facts and logic, how dare you. Well, I wish Serenus Forest had facts and logic with which to beat you, but... <laughs> sometimes it's a bit empty. Yeah, especially some of the later 3DS games is kind of lacking. Like, it has, like, some of the things it has is, like, super obscure, and it misses some of the very basic things, unfortunately. Yeah, like, what, I, I, I love the line they had on children. Or they said children inherit the base stats and growth rates from their parents, but that's not important. And I'm like, well, hold on. <laughs> Wait. Bases are yes, everything. It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> like, how does that work? <laughs> that makes no sense, my friend. No sense. Okay. Um, well, logic that takes, we sent the Vake up here because he gets Weapon Trial in that way, and Weapon Trial means everything in this game. So we'll probably have the Vake and Sully go up here. Um, then there's a group over here. I would. I could use Frederick here. He's pretty tanky. Put him in this lane. And then maybe take on some dudes here with whatever's left, like, um, maybe Karange or, uh, uh, maybe Lissa Robin could work. We're gonna have Lissa Robin go up here in this lane instead, and we have Frederick Asumia go for the more movement-sensitive part of the plan. So exactly. Donald. Just have Sumia do it. Uh, where's Pan? He's right here, okay. Let's just try it out. Good advice from the renowned booty bopper. Just, uh, but awakening gets better the less you, the more you can turn your brain off and just go. So probably just gonna do that turn one instead of thinking about it for an hour. Hold there. Ah yes, Mustafa. It's Mufasa. Oh. Hmm. Look at this beard, though. Damn you. Hmm. You should attack him from the low ground. He won't be able to see you coming. <laughs> well, because there's too much shit in his way. He's like, like this pack yeah, is too, like, bi Whoa. too big. I can't. I can't look down. <laughs> <laughs> It's like those really old games where they have the beard and just clips into their body every time they look down. <laughs> Alright. Sumia. Get ready to massacre a lot of things. Freshly promoted and ready to go. Uh, make oh sure animations are on, because I always turn them off for grinding. And let's see, how much would you take from a bandit? They have 26 attack each. Oh, well, this guy's 18. 26 is like, yeah, she'll be fine. Let's go, Sumia. Let's kill a thief. Let's show that we're good at Fire Emblem. Kill a thief turn one. But yeah. Kill a thief turn one. What the? Easy. With a crit? Okay. Easy. Is this a forged iron or something else? Yeah, it's just, it's just Sumia good. Sumia good. More at 11. <laughs> more at chapter 11. <laughs> yeah, more at chapter 11, probably. You go here. Um, I mean, I could probably dodge the stupid. We could probably double this guy with uh, something else. I'm a little afraid of Muriel's bulk, so I might just switch to Longku. Although, 24-9 versus 
I guess Longku slightly bulking as a weapon triumph, so we can put him here on enemy phase. And let's try our new uh, husband and wife combo over here. They got Newlyweds. Them. Or actually, this this is the better combo. Let's go. This Ooh, is what a honeyman damn. and fire emblem looks like. They'll just pair up and go on a slaughter spree. We have, we have reached new stages of armor reliability. We now need, in order to evict the one-armed kill with the imposing axe now, he needs to not only hit this hit, but he also needs to land a dual strike with Sully. But the good news is that it has a 70% chance of happening, and Sully has a 58 chance of dual striking. So basically, just go. Yeah, this looks pretty impressive. You can crit too. Let's go. Yeah, I roll. What? I love that one. I think I didn't even give him the Draco Shield. I think I just forgot to give it to anyone. Okay. I'd... Oh, we still have it? Yeah, probably. It's probably in Crom's Convoy. We can give it to Cordelia, I guess. It's probably not bad with it. There you go. There you so go. Forget. Good as time as any. Yeah. I'll just uh, have a healer ready. Tom, my love. You know what? <laughs> Fix got this. I think this, this part will need more help. Um, healer. And just move it up. And let's just go. Thieves. Thieves. Oh, God. Not even gonna bring him to oh, justice. Why do I have to do all the work? So the enemy thieves aren't part of the same army. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, they're doing a lot. Yes. But they're, they're still red though. Let's go. Dual strike. Ah, oh, come on. He's just setting up the kill for for noodle, you know. Yeah. He needs the help. I was gonna say Cordelia, but that works. Oh, come on, dude. So disappointing. <laughs> What, the Iron Axe missing? Or the Imposing yeah. Axe missing? Definitely. Also, just not dual striking at all. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's time to suffer, probably. I don't even know if he's suffering from success. I think he's yeah. just straight up suffering. <laughs> no, Miriel's Fire Broke. Okay, this needs to miss, though. Oh, easy, easy, dog. Oh, right, he has that. Vantage? He has Vantage. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's OP. <laughs> he did hit t level 10 a while ago. But I we guess he never did happen, guys. Oh, that was good. That was good. The advantage is busted in this game. Hold on. I think it always procs me below a half. And then when you have dual strikes into, into the mix, it's just like... It's kind of like having Wrath in a way. Oh yeah, advantage that, advantage Wrath, advantage everything. Yeah, we were just leading you guys on. We're actually pretty good at this video game. We got advantage and <laughs> everybody already. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of pairings where people want me to get advantage on the kids. Uh, Muriel just being one of them. Easy. Ooh, they're running away. But they, they're moved by like three moves. They think the rain actually matters in this map, but it turns out it doesn't do anything. And okay. just got an email. Not supposed to do that on recording, please. Okay. I know, uh, get out of here. Get out of here. I was very tempted. Someone in my Discord fell for the Sakon, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this guy is a bit too tough to kill with Cordelia. And Sumi has all the way over here. So I guess his wyvern just kind of has free reign over whoever is in his range. So we should make sure it's not everyone that's vulnerable. Except that we have like have very little staff, vulnerable units left, so... We can probably go hand with Donald here. Hannah's still waiting for her 24 XP. speed. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, here it comes though. Here comes some of it. Alright, almost there. Okay. About halfway there now. Yo! <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Actual perfect level up. <laughs> we better not reset. <laughs> I hope not. Can we get a save point somewhere? Hello? Worm Slayer? Oh, we can maybe... Yeah, we can range attack this guy if we want to. Uh, what turn do we get reinforcements? Because it's turn two right now. I think five was the first turn okay. that had them, but let me look up just to be sure. Yeah, five... Actually, wait. Turn six, it says. Oh, easy. Yeah, I was looking at the Lunatic reinforcements. Easy. Man, those lunatic guys gotta move fast. I feel bad for him. Let's try this. I wanna see if I can kill that wyvern from the mountain top with like a range attack somewhere. True. I was thinking rescue staff Sumia, but yours probably distributes the XP a bit nicer. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I don't think the fake one won with a hand axe, but we'll see. Maybe with his new support bonuses. Nah, he doesn't double. And I'm assuming. Wow, you get no speed from this pair up, Crunch. <laughs> I mean, Robin is good enough. He just doesn't have to move for it. Uh, he has five move. One, two, three, four, five. I think you need to be here. So, rescue staff with her, him. God, I swear I'm doing a purpose. I swear I'm doing a purpose. We'll get it right. Uh, I mean, we could try fish for a dual strike, or just rescue staff. 
right now. We might as well. I think... Well, we might as well try for the dual strike, because that's the risky part. Yeah, but we don't even... I guess it depends like where I want to risk staff. Do you remember the you set the priority earlier for rescuing? Was it up first? Uh, it's down first. Oh. I think it's down right, left up. Oh, you have six move. So if we go here, you go down, then yeah, we have definitely enough move if this guy dies. I guess the question is, will he die? Uh, we can either go for 75 and then 29 crit, or dual strike, or just go for a steel axe, where the dual strike still kills, but the crit chance is lower. But we do 100% hit. Uh, but if we... Yeah. There we go. I guess they can give you a lesson on probability. Very yeah. fitting. <laughs> he just got tenure, so. Dual strike, come on. Oh, come on! Dude, never lucky. What rubbish. Well, let's still go for the rescue, I guess. If you're down, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you have enough moving either way. So, rescue staff. I wish I moved the other way first. Go here. Murder this stupid wyvern. Even Oko him with this uh, this old Elwind. But, you know, Which we gotta hoard that. That's right. That Elwind tome, man. Who knows until we be able to get more D ranked tomes. I think there was actually one for sale in the shop, but there's just too much stuff available for any shops these days. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I took a group. look at your budget. It's like, mm. Our strength, no. Okay, this guy's trapped now, so he can't attack anyone I really care about. I think his best target's probably Vague, but he doesn't kill Vague, so he's fine. Um, Lanku might have to, like, this concoction here. And maybe... Bait, like, one Barbarian over. Soldier will just Javelin, it's whatever. This is how we can get reach. Not quite far enough. Okay, since the Javelin guy can reach me anyway, I should probably go ahead and just bait two Axe users, because they have shitty hit anyway. There's some cocks. That guy had like 10 hit. He'll be fine. And then Krom, probably gonna be accompanied by Sumia. This guy's like, whatever. Wait, there's a thing in the way here. <laughs> Look at this. I, a... I can barely see this guy. Get out the way. Can yeah. you not rotate the camera? It's not three houses. Uh huh. I think if there's one objective I gotta worry about, it's that one thief that's going up here, but I, I should be able to cut, cut him off still. So maybe just like take out the last thief here and we're just golden. Yeah, the, the thieves don't attack you ever. You have to let your yeah, face attack them. them down. Careful. I don't know where that one escapes to, yeah. It's probably at the bottom <laughs> left. <laughs> so there probably was no need to do this yet. Seraph Rogue, alright. That's going to be very helpful. And then Krom just put him on the fort, I guess, for now. Smart move there. I don't think there's any way we can occupy the fort against the reinforcements. The reinforcements, by the way, are west, and then center, and then east. Okay. So... It's going to go, what, 6, 8, 9, like that. Okay. So 6 west and then center 8, okay. Hmm. Wait, is that the case? I heard that there's, or um, to fit with the theme of, like, this whole conversation and everything that happened before and after the battle, apparently the enemies get weaker every turn, but I've never been able to verify it. Wait, really? Yeah, but... I feel like it's one of those things you just read on the internet and everyone just repeats it without checking if it's actually true. Look out. I mean, we got the internet these days. Yeah. Huh. Shit, we... I, I have a feeling there's a way someone could just go out here and verify that. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know, know if they know what way they would be nerfed. Like, if it's just hit rate and, like... That's probably... If it's there, it's probably hit rate and a void or something. Nice dodge. Just some very difficult to detect debuff. Yeah, so hard to detect that it. it's impossible to verify, but I swear it's there. I swear. You must Who would yeah, yeah, it just trust that no one. Yeah. It, it helps because no one knows the math for awakening in three houses and for awakening anyway. Like true. Just do it. I just know it's very similar to BS emblem. Although the hit rates strike me a bit more like TBA sometimes. Well, this this was interesting. BS emblem. You say that because it's, it's exactly between. Oh. <laughs> what is this one RN now? Is Lanku okay? I mean, it's fine for now, but we probably got a concoction again. We could probably one-round one of these dudes. I uh, got the glass yeah, sword. We, we can try for some... He still hasn't got arm strength yet, I think, but this is probably a good time to try out the glass sword. Just because wyverns are so threatening. Because they keep hitting me. Oh, he hasn't procced it. Mm -hmm. He hasn't procced it yeah, ever. I... Unless he just doesn't show it. Well, let's just try it out, I guess. Wait, has he never procced it? I don't think so. I've never seen it. Maybe I missed it. 
Oh, it usually doesn't show up. I mean, it's had three uses. It's pretty easy to remember. Doesn't it show yeah, up with, one. like, some kind of symbol? No, those are those are other skills. Arms thrips. Oh. Skips that whole thing, though. Well, it sure did. He still has three. <laughs> but yeah, he cracked it both times. Lucky us. <laughs> I just don't see it. What, no. What's the point of a skill you don't see? That's the whole point of, point of awakening, is cracking skills. I mean, if you got a whole thing up there, like, every time you say, do you sound a bronze sword? <laughs> okay, the thief doesn't attack, so we can maybe kill the wife with Muriel. And just leave Lanku, like, injured for now. Maybe we can physic him first and then switch over. Oh, that seems wise. Because Lissa can attack now, so we can just bait this wyvern while doing that. We just move her up all the way even. Because what's going to hurt her? Like this this brigand? Nah. nah. Let's just go one outside of his range. Physic, I think. Gotta use yeah, now that I got the S support. Yeah. Oh, look at those boosts on yeah. the pair up. Uh, I didn't see him. Watch out. Shut up. Oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> damn. She's so good. Yeah, they're a bit good. <laughs> they're, they're a bit good. Let's go from here, switch, physic, um, Monku? So that we don't get the problem that you talked about, where you, you have someone injured and you pair them with someone else and then switch so that they're not longer, they're longer in danger. And then you later on you want to pair it. back and you just forget about it. Yeah, oh wait, you can't attack Oh wait a here. minute. Oh wait, uh, switch. Hello? You need the square south of it. Oh wait, oh yeah. That's... It's not just me, right? This feels this feels weird that I cannot attack this guy from here. I mean, it, it's just a 3D. It is. If you could rotate the camera, you could see things earlier. I, 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 I felt, can't I rotate it bad. though, can I? I don't think so. No, I game. don't think there's any way. Mm -hmm. I caught myself trying to rotate the camera in another game too. Yeah, it was like try, trying to turn your DS in your hands. <laughs> it just didn't work. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it was actually the FP1 port in the Switch. I was like, all right, <laughs> I can't rotate the camera. Okay, the dog is nice. I think we kind of did need that at some point. Yeah, that's good. I didn't realize it had a hand axe. We might have I did, I just took the risk it. anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's only this javelin. I'm not even sure if he took kills combined with the wyvern. But, uh... Um, we gotta look smart for the viewers. We do. I mean, I do. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> no one's gonna oh, care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wanna... Um, with Vegas, we could fight the wyvern if we really wanted to, I'm just gonna heal him. Mend him up for the next round. And, and not just the mend. Yeah. Well, here. I, I see no god up here other than myself. <laughs> and you know, I guess. I'm probably gonna use these to. Uh, turn six, right? Let's turn three. Yeah, we got this over here. We're probably just gonna fight this wyvern over here just to get him off our backs. And. I'll take these both, right? <laughs> Easy money. Krom doesn't need a pairing. I'll just take out the fighter. Oh, I don't want to give them the fort, so I think I'll just wait here. Actually, no, this guy's a hand that needs to go. He's gotta go. I think the map is kill boss, but I just want Willie to be. Goodbye. Good. And this game is so tedious if you're trying to do the traditional thing of don't make any juggernauts, but if you just make everyone juggernauts, it's actually a lot of fun right now. Turns out. Turns out. Alright, easy sword rack yeah, just... training. Ooh. Smart with a falchion. Gotta have that limit it uses. Where's the other thief? Is there still one left or? Uh, there's one like right near the hand X fire that just attacked us. That's it. Oh, oh you Oh right on a quick thunder for grinding. <laughs> <laughs> oh hello. Oh you have hand X too. Never Very cool. It. Suffering from the high level strats. He's using those GBA Who's strats. Who's Donald dog. and the... Uh... Ooh? Oh, there we go, Muriel. Okay. Muriel, good. Take it back. Yeah, she's pretty good. Oh, reinforcements already? Let's turn four. Yeah, reinforce. So it's the, the north and the south fort on the western bones, which is, I think, this big thing. Um, I mean, these are bones, I guess. So, like, oh, on the, the things, big like here? On the mounds, yeah. Oh. The bones, tiles. So these two? These two. There will be reinforcements from here this turn. Damn. On turn six, I think? I don't oh, know. I can't count. But it's turn four, so... Oh, that's we'll ages see. from now. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know what that guy was talking about. Yeah, I didn't actually put a tome on her, so... I could, we could just kill him with a normal Iron Lance, though, because we're that good. That yeah, turns out. I have your back. We have the shock stick boosts. Is Donald Pan the pairing that 
everyone suggested for us? Uh, for not two, really. Or? It's like it was mentioned, but among a couple of other suggestions, like I think Henry was suggested at some point, and Virion and Style. They've all been kind of brought up. I mean, they're the husbands that left, so that's, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So if you want so to I did, go ahead. I didn't know Donald Pan is a pretty popular pairing, but it's also like one of the few that doesn't give him luck. I mean, pair up and it's like, luck, it's luck we need this now. for the arms thrift. You got to get that fifty luck for arms thrift. Oh, true. I think I know Potato. Uh, picture on Potato specifically said, "Well, Donald's good, but I want to save Donald for the Denali pairing because then we can get a really good na off of it," which makes sense, but. Ooh, that's actually pretty smart. Sometimes if you hoard your parents like that, they could end up going for someone else, you know? Okay. If you hoard your parents, you might need these till later. Yeah. Uh, he still has his mass sword, so might as well just use it again. Or just use the bronze, honestly. Maybe this is finally a kill for Pan that we wanted so badly. Yeah, yeah about time. Yeah. Her defense is 12. It's passable. It's, yeah, that's, that's the word I would use to describe it to. She could take some hits, but not all these hits. Well, there's only one way to find out, I guess. Mm. Probably like a sequencing. How, how many attacks actually is she going to take? Well, I think it's just... Team. This guy can't reach, so it's just this guy and this guy, assuming we kill this guy, which I think I will do. Um, yeah, there's no but the thief also that. counters for like a bit of damage. Like, I think she takes... Five from the thieves is down to 26, and then she fights this guy with 21, this guy with 19. So let's say both have 20. 40 and 40. Six and six. So minus 24, 16. Right. Should be oh, good. Is, it, is it eight and eight? Well, it's still fine, right? I think it's still fine. Yeah. I mean, they don't have yeah, the massive support them. like dual guard bonuses that some other people have, so I shouldn't get complacent with them. Oh yeah, that's true. But I do want to yeah, get up to level 10. Get another busted flyer. Another one. Oh, Donald still has the glass sword equipped, I think. Oh, actually, I think I might have given the bronze sword, though. Okay. Level 10, that's very good. That means we can second two over for next episode. Strength speed. Yeah, that's good. And Donald, too. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> another one. Okay, it's pretty good. Oh, no <laughs> HP plus two. Oh, I get another one. <laughs> oh. Bullion M, that sells for 5k. Damn, that's a lot of good forges. We only forged one weapon so far. That's true. We've been buying so much other crap. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep Muriel out of range of that one fighter, I think, because I, I actually just used Lanku. That should be safe. I don't know if he one rounds, though. He does. Okay, you go. Can't go Ronku. <laughs> Got him. Alright, kill for Longku. And then I think Vig doesn't have much business against Wyvern. I think we just kill with uh, with Robin. With Robin. I like the nice move. Noodle. Yeah. Or I could use Lissa to heal, but then the question is how do we I mean actually we could probably feed it to Cordelia if we just don't kill this guy somehow. Like I have I have a suspicion that if Vig attacks and then solid like dual strikes, it doesn't he doesn't actually die. Which is not completely true. It's not going to be true unless we use an Iron Axe, which I don't have. Oh, well, if we use the hammer, it works out, I think. Does Sully benefit from the parrot bonus? Uh, when she's not... giving the dual strike? I have no idea. I think only the front unit benefits. Well, let's find out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in that way, then maybe... So what you're saying is if she doesn't get the bonus, then she's not killing with the dual strike, yeah. with the Iron Sword. Exactly. Because right. she's getting this giant plus strength from Vague. Well, let's see. I mean, they've, they've hit the dual strike at all. Uh, they do have, she does have weapon equipped, I actually checked this time. So I guess we'll just find out. And if they don't kill, then... Kill, kill. Well, that oh, that okay, could work too. Yeah. Or we could use the critical hit. Or... Just get we also could have just unpaired first. Yeah, but I think we need Wait, like, a lot of damage, turn? a lot of chip for critical to kill. Also really sick level up, but no speed once again. Ooh, no speed. No speed needed. I or guess there was no need for speed. Okay, let's just move her up a bit. All right. I'm, I'm not even going to correct myself anymore. I'm just, I'm just never going to get it right. I've decided. Yeah. I'll equip this before I forget. Men's up Libra. I guess just find this uh, little solo thing with Cordelia. Maybe the Sparkly Tiles Constellation. Mm -hmm. 
Yay, training! Yay, last rank. Ooh, Worth. Okay, Krom can pick up the town on the bottom left, probably. Oh, yeah, probably. Thanks for the current. This is a cool animation at this point. Well, I always gotta save the current for last. Damn. Okay. He's so fast now. Right. Going for Pan. With, like, no hit break. This possible Pan is benefiting from Odd Rhythm or whatever she has this turn. Um, the Odd Rhythm? Because it's turn 5. I think she has Odd Rhythm. I think now he's the one with Even Rhythm. Never oh, she has Even Rhythm. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, yeah, it's, it didn't occur to me. Okay, so this is turn mm -hmm. 5. So next turn we'll get reinforcements from the thing. And this is Defeat Commander. Well, stupid poles in the way. Uh, you have a hand next, right? So I can just kill you with the if I want to. Or we can try to set up the... Bro, your movement range kind of cringe. This is poor Cordelia. Poor Cordelia, not enough move. I don't know probably move. something we can feed to her. How She's about... just a Pegasus Knight. Mm -hmm. What if we try this and then uh, we like do some kind of pairing shenanigans to finish off? I think it should work. Just... Do I like deliver her? Oh no, use one of the use the glass sword. Move. Switch. I'm never financially recovered from this. <laughs> Hit this guy with our rabbit. Wait, does he have 0%? Oh, because no weapon, of course. Yeah. I was like, what? Setting it up for the uh, best girl. Okay. Yeah, so if we just pair with Libra, we could just switch Javelin. Setting it up for best girl selects Libra, like, listen, Easy. Next prevail. chapter, you gotta have this figured out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, stop, Libra with a hand axe? Why have I never thought of this? Yeah, let's say they did lose hit along the way, right? So, this guy, for example, has 80 hit, and then skill probably gives, like, 22... 1.5. Oh, it, oh right, it's 1.5, so that'd be 16 hit, rounded down. So that'd be 96, and then maybe like 5, like, a little bit from luck too. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't... I'm not a math teacher, but I don't see this working out in favor of the... The hit rate's correct, based on what we assumed. Yeah. There's no other weird buff in there. Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah. uh, I guess it might have been a rumor all along. Okay, Pan... Also doesn't want to run this one, so it could be another kill for Cordelia. Yeah. Assuming it wasn't their stats that decreased. Ooh, and that's a possibility they did not take into account. Better make a safe state. Switch from move movement next turn. Go here and heal up. This like getting XP from no battles, kind of nice. Um, I guess we'll just do Zonk here for a second. I'll put Krom in the fort because I don't want it to die. I think I have a Vuln here, so this will just have to do for now. Uh, we'll get the sparkly tile, I guess. Might as well. Like the risk of the pair up. Yeah, whatever. They just need to get S support anyway. Oh no. Ah, uh, yes, time to show Krom that you got a Finn's Lance. A Finn's Lance? It's actually not a terrible weapon. It's like. It's stronger than an Iron Lance. But it also gives luck and defense. defense, yeah. It's pretty nice. Ooh. And Crypt plus 10 too, like all these other things. You know what? We'll keep it for now. We'll, we'll get the Shock Stick back later. Okay, nothing happened. But now we're getting two wyverns from here? Two wyverns from here if we don't just route them out. True. Which is also a possibility. It depends on what you want. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I can kill Mustafa this turn. Unless I rescue Staff. Ah, quarter talk. But XP. I guess XP doesn't matter that much when you're like just rampaging through everything. Well, let's say you rescue Staff, someone up to Mustafa, and who would kill him, right? Um, I don't have a short axe. Who could even kill him in one round? Um, Which, uh, Muriel or Robin could, maybe. His short axe is kind of scary. Ah, nah, that's fine. Or maybe Libra using Rescue Staff on Robin pair up could work. And then they'd probably kill combined, because their pair up bonus is so good. That could work. And we just leave the other. Yeah. We can still get the other kill with uh, Cordelia and friends, because we just set it up with Pan again. And then finish with uh, this. Although we also need Libra to use um, Rescue. So we have to like, I think what we can do is like go over here with Pan, get the kill with this pairing, 
and then have Muriel come over. Um, so go here, take Libra from Cordelia, switch to her, and I use the rescue staff on Robin. Flissa. That could work, right? That could be pretty good, yeah. In terms of you, you just want to kill this thing yourself <laughs> with Cordelia. <laughs> you just don't do anything. That makes it slightly less complicated. Sure, let's go with this. This is let's let's show her that she's still sufficient. Yeah, let, let, let's just start with this move. It yeah. Seems pretty wise. And even if we can't kill the boss, we can at least kill the three idiots around him, so there's no risk of well, someone wide walking. At this point, if we don't route, then uh, really I might die to the wide from reinforcements. I mean, they're just coming from those forts in the west, so yeah, but they're gonna move. It's no mystery right? where they can go. I guess we can block one with um, this pairing. We probably even like dump on top of the forts to block them out entirely. If we really wanted to. Actually, yeah, it gives us an extra turn. Mm -hmm. But let's try that whole rescue maneuver because it seems kind of neat. So we want Muriel to be in the back here. No, actually, yeah, we want this. I think I just take Libra and then switch to Libra. I use the rescue staff on uh, this overpowered pairing right here. They went kind of far away. Hope they have pairing's kind of good. New. Plus magic, easy. That's potentially helpful. This doesn't kill, but we have Noodle. It's a ridiculously overpowered horde of Elwins that I saved just for this occasion. Then we can kill. The hoarding did pay off, actually. Yeah, kind of did. And there's nothing they can do, right? Maybe if we're, not, if we're killing the boss anyway. Like, do they have 100%? I didn't see. I think they basically did. Yeah, that's 100%. So I think what we'll just do is just kill one more idiot. Maybe give Frederick some action. Yeah, as long as we can survive the wyverns. Oh, well, we're killing the boss. Like, <laughs> that wins us oh, the map. Oh, is it kill boss or is it route map? Yeah, it's not a route map. I thought it was a route map. No, it's not every map is a route map. That's birthright. No. <laughs> that, that's echoes. Yep, that's a kill. There we go. All right, Mustafa. Your map heads up. Don't take my word for it, though. <laughs> Please stay strong. And he just gets a crit anyway. Good. He'll probably do a strike twice, honestly. Looks like getting that tome rank. Got him. Else we're gonna get it up. Mm hmm. Well done, your listens. Ugh. Oh, oh, that's why it's a defeat boss map. Uh huh. He's like, everyone else, give up if you want. It's fine. It's fine. Just desserts. It's fine. Yeah, see, thematically desserts. appropriate. Gameplay story integration right here. We saved a whole red soldier. Hey, look. Oh, who's this chick? Hey, look, it's it's Krom's future wife. Yes. Krom's future wife? Yeah. It's true. They haven't even gone on a date yet. Hey. Krom, dude, give them All some right. time. All right. All right. All right. Here's your time. Here's your time. Here's your time. The few running Ooh, maps. Cutscene. Oh, well, you don't actually get Olivia till the yeah. start of the map. Get her so. into 11. I forgot there was a cutscene here. Well, not really a cutscene, like this scene here. What is this scene? <laughs> oh, it's all heartfelt. <sighs> and Flavia and Basilio are just yelling at each other. <laughs> I picked a bad time to get elected. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest here. If they didn't spend this much time about Emeryn's death, uh, it'd be more meaningless than it is right now. Um, like, I don't, I don't think it's entirely meaningless, but I think it helps that this scene is here, at least. Because you don't, you don't want to yeah. just move on from a death like that. Let me just put it that way. Yeah, even, to, to be honest, I'm not a fan of this scene, but, like, at the very least, the characters in the world are taking it seriously. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. All right. is the right way to write. It's a little double for me, because Awakening as a whole doesn't take itself seriously at all. So when you have scenes like this, it's, it's, it's on one hand, it's a bit of like a tone dissonance, but at the same time, the way that the scene relies entirely on grief for Emerin, so you need this to be in there for it to like be coherent at all. Exactly. I'm an art you critic, just, you can tell, because I used words like critic. coherence and tone. <laughs> and tone? Yes. Still, 
Oh, oh, tone. I thought you said tome. I was like, yeah, noodle's pretty good, yeah. but what's that got to do with art? <laughs> tome good. Kill people with lots with fire. Tome good. <laughs> Hang in there. Oh, they all have a scene. They Just all talk. Fail. I forgot about that. They all have a scene? Yeah, usually they, they say that for the time, for the falter. final chapter. In, like, reverse recruitment order? <laughs> I guess so. Is it? I guess so. Is it? Right. Yeah. I mean, Mary, Mary Bell? No, nah, just the four of them, I guess. Oh, okay. Wait, <laughs> just why the people the, I have never deployed in a battle. <laughs> Time to start punching? I'm good. Oh, there you go. Mary Bell. Oh, okay. Need a hand? Stall. Got you covered. Sully. May the gods yeah, bless this, us. this is not reverse recruitment order, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the order is. Unbreakable shield, Sumia. She's not wrong, honestly. Thank me later. I'm, I'm, you know what? Honestly, yeah. The devs knew. Gregory's on job. <laughs> <laughs> How much you play Gregor? <laughs> I can't not, I cannot not enjoy Gregor. You have grown strong, my lord. Thank you. All right. I will not Wait for the again. the last one third of the characters to chip in. I think we had them all, right? Is that all right? Including Basileo and Flavia, I think like everyone who's been uh, on screen so far has been shown here. Like, yeah, even even Olivia is chipping in. Even Olivia? What yeah. about Cordelia? Oh, pfft, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Cordelia not get in line here? Is she not gonna talk? I guess uh, yes. not. Let's, also, let's, bring, let's bring along Olivia, that's right. right. Go, go Basileo's ahead. collar? Uh, Have you noticed? What's this? What's this hanging in front of his chin? Uh, I don't know. I think that's where all the fetters are attached to, or it's some kind of armor to protect his, protect his neck. It's, it's like still. it seems awfully inconvenient, but that goes for like half of awakening armor. Right, that's true. <laughs> yes. Right. Let's go. Right. Let's you go. and Noodle have given me all confidence. Yep. I mean, you did just kill a boss in like six turns, so. That's true. That's right. pretty impressive. Shops, more encounters, good. More gold for oh, the grind, the good. Shops? You want to see the shops? All right, I'll show you this. Oh, we might as well. Quick. We got like five of them, dude. Uh, this one I already Lots showed, I think. Uh, apparently it's sticking around. Another rescue staff, very nice. I can sell my 5k and, uh, you know, get this. Get um, more rescue. Yeah, another master seal, very cool. Very nice, more promoted units. Um, another master seal another here, master an arm seal. scroll for our E-rank units, like... Uh, I think Pan will probably appreciate that. She goes wife. And Iron Bow on Iron Bow on sale for 420. Yeah, 420. Let's go, <laughs> shoot it. I think next time we'll probably do this one because that will get us Anna. Um, or we can save it after we get Olivia. I'm fine either way. Um, yeah, pretty smart. But I'll decide on that between now and the next time. So thank you for joining us once again, and uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time.